Hello, my name is Shimam Ghosh from Stratasys, and let's talk how to speed up Service Bureau quoting with the new GrabCAD Print Pro. To recap, GrabCAD Print isn't going anywhere. The print preparation tool you know and love is always going to be free. It's going to talk to your FDM printers and your Polyjet printers, and we're still going to keep improving it month to month, getting stronger. GrabCAD Print Pro is all of that plus it is going to be a yearly license. Your company's gonna have a fixed number of seats they can assign. It's also gonna let you talk to our new SAF powder bid printers. It's gonna have an accuracy center where you can 3D scan your parts and correct for any warpage during the print process. And it's gonna have some other features like per part estimation and assembly grouping. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. The other features are gonna be in different videos. So let's say you're a service bureau and you've got three big orders that came in. James wants a bunch of gaming parts printed that look like this. Melanie wants a bunch of medical parts printed that look like this. And Chuck has some car parts that look like this. If you put them all on the tray together at the same time for efficiency, it looks like this. But how are you gonna estimate that? Right, you have to take each part off by itself, estimate one by one, or take each customer's job, estimate one by one. It's a hassle. Before, in GrabCAD Print Free, you would hit the estimate button and get one overall estimate for the whole tray, okay? The customers aren't gonna like that. They wanna see their parts split out. They don't wanna pay for other people's parts. So that's in the free version, this tray summary. But in the paid version, GrabCAD Print Pro, we added a build report for per part estimation. You can see all the parts laid out here, along with how much they take, and you can export this as an Excel file. If you export that to Excel, it looks like this. The red columns were added by me for clarity. And if you do that, you can see that 30% of the entire model volume is taken up by one of James's parts, the middle controller. 24% of the entire volume is taken up by Chuck's entire order. So this can help you break out the costs of time and material per each customer. Taking it one step further, I can add a column for support volume. And you can see that almost 50% of the entire support used is taken up by Melanie's lattice parts, which you know from a previous tutorial is very expensive to post-process an FDM. So if you want to add in post-processing costs, this can help you break those up as well. How would you have done this before? Well, you would have had to put every single part on the tray by itself and estimate it and copy and put those parts in an Excel spreadsheet and then break it out. Trust me, it was as annoying to make these screenshots as it would have been for you to make the estimate. With all the normal distractions, this took me almost half an hour. But with new GrabCAD Print Pro, it'll be one click for per part estimation. Now that's great if all your parts are clean and separated on your tray by customer like this. But we all know a lot of times our trays look like this. And you saw my file names were nice and clean and descriptive for each customer, but we all know a lot of times our file names look like this. And if that's the case, your per part estimation will look like this. And it'll be very hard to tell that this part is from James's gaming controllers, but this part is from Chuck's car parts. Sometimes the files just get auto numbered or something. And as you're taking all the files out, it might be hard to tell that this part doesn't go with Melanie's medical parts. Their lattices, they look the same. A lot of times things get mixed up. So you wanna keep them separated somehow, okay? You don't wanna make a mistake. So we talked about per part estimation, but now we're gonna talk about assembly grouping. And really it should be called assembly then grouping because we're gonna use two features one after another. All right, so I'm gonna grab one customer's parts and hit the assemble button on the top left. I'll grab another customer's parts, hold on control to get more than one, and hit the assemble button on the top left. And I'll grab the car parts, and then I'll hit the assemble button on the top left. And now you can see I've made three separate assemblies. Each one can be selected by itself. They can drag by themselves, but you can't rename them. So I'm gonna hit the group button next, and now I can rename these groups. Okay, so I'm gonna call this one gaming parts. I'm gonna call this one medical parts and I'll call the last one car parts. So group it and then rename the group car parts. All 
I'm going to drag them back onto the tray. Notice each thing drags as a group. And now we're ready to go. So now if your assembly groups look like this, your per part estimation looks like this, no matter what your files are called, much easier to break out. One other benefit of grouping parts, besides dragging them all, all at once and locking their position in place, is the fact that when you switch technologies or switch printers, the groups and their relative positions are respected. So let me switch to one of our color polyjet printers, and you can see the gaming parts are still all locked together in the exact same positions, allowing me to rotate them as one, even though they start off as separate parts. A great way to keep your customers' parts together. So that's how to use per part estimation and assembly grouping together to make your service bureau quoting a lot faster. Watch for other videos on other GrabCAD Print Pro features coming down the line. And if you'd like a free trial or more information, just give us a call. I've been Siobhan Ghosh, and thanks for watching.